Yo, yes, thank you so much for joining me guys. Welcome back to the second part of this three-part series on central mid positioning. My name is Coach Sanawe Goni and in today's episode we are talking about central mid positioning on the ball. Another episode brought to you by Ball Talent. If you are a footballer, you are a club, you are a scout, you are looking to find SA's best talent, go check out Ball Talent. These are the guys to hook you up, connect you and provide that stepping stone for your next level. Let's go! You know, for me... It's all about performance. Let's get started with the central mid and their basic pass options. Now, generally, when I am doing uh, positioning and mainly on the ball positioning, I'm going to show you a couple of players or people who are your basic pass options. But as a central midfielder, everyone, everyone needs to be your basic pass option. You are the link, you are the creator, you are the one who is supposed to get in close to support or find your space in support, but then always have passing options around you. More than anyone else on the field, the central midfielder should know where people are all around them. So, how is everyone a basic pass option for me? Well, it depends on their positioning, their body shape, um, and just how easy it would be to get the ball to them. Generally, for a central midfielder, you play where you're facing. So, whoever you are looking at and you're facing, if they are, op if they are open and they are an easy option, there you go. That is your basic pass option. We're not looking to do anything more complicated than just passing the ball right through to them. And now we move on to the creative passes. Now, as a central midfielder, you need to be the most creative player on the field. You need to have fantastic ways to get the ball to your intended target. One of the nice, simple, creative passes is behind the defensive line. So any and everything that can be played behind the defensive line, whether it's on the floor or whether it's over the line, there can be considered a creative pass for the central midfielder. So anything from here where the ball is played through to meet this man's run right over here behind these defenders and puts him through onto goals. That is a phenomenal creative pass. Another creative passing option as a central midfielder is inside this half space area here where you are right on the edge of the final third and you have got the ball and you've got passing options making movement into the box now where that ball needs to be delivered for me is that area of uncertainty which lies in between the penalty area and this edge of the six yard box over here if you can deliver a ball into there where you force the defenders to turn and face towards the goals you've got the keeper caught in a decision between coming out or holding his position there is a great ball for central midfielder and we're just going to touch up on one more creative pass because there are so many ways that a central midfielder involves themselves in the game when they are on the ball, especially in terms of creating, you know, it's for them that sense of flair given that simple ball. But one that is so underappreciated in terms of being a creative pass is that second assist pass. So you as the central mid makes that pass past the defensive line that allows for your winger to get in to the box and just deliver that simple cross for your striker so providing that second assist for the team so the pass before the pass that became the goal you are the one who made that happen you are the one who gave us that room to breathe and that freedom to express ourselves you are the one who made that pass that made the defenders turn they back away from goals and go towards their own so that pass there is so crucial and critical in how to make the team get into the goals and grab the three points a lot easier. And now just some general on the ball advice for the central midfielders. You do not need to be on the ball for a long time. So don't become one of those central midfielders who is privy to dribbling unnecessarily 
make sure that you are dribbling either to take on and cover as much space as possible or you're dribbling to engage people before you release that pass. Don't go into challenges and don't go into dribbling encounters. Your job is to distribute, link and connect people. Another bit of advice is to just know whether you are a finishing midfielder or whether you are an out and out passing midfielder. Now, you can do a lot in terms of being a finishing midfielder. So if you know how to get yourself into the box and find a way to finish like a striker would, get yourself into the box. But don't overrun, don't overcommit and don't do it too much. Make sure that you've got a nice balance because at the end of the day, you've still got to be privy and you've still got to be the first one to defend when that team turns and goes on to the counter. But if you are that passing midfielder, make sure that you're getting yourself involved in the game. Get up the field, make sure to push people with you and connect, 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 recycle, recycle. Do as much with the ball in terms of passing and distribution as possible. And that is all from me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've been able to give you some insight on that central mid positioning, especially when you are on the ball. Make sure to always know where your passing options are. Make sure that you are in control of that ball and you are the one distributing and recycling and get creative. Don't forget about that second assist passing game. That is all from me, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next video, which will be central mid off the ball. Thank you so much for watching me. I will see you next time.